I'm Stephanie Townsend Ayala, attorney at law and your video host for the El Paso Elder Care Channel. I created this section of our Elder Care Channel to inform you about protecting assets if your spouse is receiving home or nursing home Medicaid. I hope you find it helpful and informative. And please remember, my law firm helps families just like yours navigate the difficult senior care waters. We're always here to work with you. Now, if your spouse is in need of nursing home or home health care Medicaid, you might be surprised to learn you are in a very good position to protect your assets and still qualify for Medicaid. This is one example of a government program that really helps society. Just think about it. 70% of us will need nursing care before we pass. It would be a terrible public policy if we forced all of us to become impoverished before we passed. Now, most of my senior clients have managed to save just a little bit for their retirement through great sacrifice and hard work. Many have paid into the system of Medicare and Medicaid for 50 years and even more, never once asking for government assistance. Their spouses come to my office quite skeptical, telling me they could never qualify for Medicaid, even as they watched their life savings disappear at a rate of six to $10,000 per month. They leave my office surprised and hopeful. That's the most important thing to keep in mind here. It's hope, there is hope. The type of Medicaid that pays for nursing home and home health care is not a welfare program. It's a working class, middle class benefit and my clients have spent a lifetime paying into without ever once asking for help. It's a benefit that, that's owed to you. If you do two things, please do not believe the state of Texas if they tell you that you don't qualify at first. And second, talk to a qualified elder law attorney. Now the first good news for the healthy spouse is you get to keep the first $3,000 of monthly income in the community, no matter which spouse it comes to. If there's more than $3,000 a month of income, then that overage must be paid to the nursing home. So the spouse at home gets to keep the first $3,000 and the rest goes to the nursing home. Most of my clients' income doesn't even exceed $3,000. So that means the spouse at home gets to keep 100% of the income from both spouses each month. Also, if you're married, you can keep up to $120,000 cash in the bank and still qualify. Again, we don't want to impoverish the spouse living in the community, force them to get food stamps and welfare. It would just burden the overburdened system. So once your spouse qualifies for Medicaid, remember you have one year to get your spouse's name off all of your assets, including the family home and cars. The only transfers allowed in Medicaid are between spouses. And in essence, the first year of Medicaid benefits acts like a financial divorce of the spouses. So after the first year, the benefits of the healthy spouse will never again be counted against the spouse receiving the nursing home benefits. If you have a spouse who's ill, spend some time with a knowledgeable elder law attorney. It's such a comfort to know there are options when facing catastrophic illness and the loss of your life savings. I'm Stephanie Townsend Ayala, your video host for El Paso Elder Care Channel. Please stay tuned for information about this and other interesting topics.